Canadians are acutely aware of how the Prime Minister of Canada makes a global mockery of his country and himself whenever he goes on tours around the world, be it to India or the G7 or the United Nations, or in this case, to a meeting of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Now, here's a photo from that. This was a photo taken and posted by Prime Minister Trudeau, so you wouldn't really know exactly what happened unless someone else told you. Luckily, we have the other person in the chair there, Malcolm Turnbull, the former Prime Minister of Australia. He released an autobiography where he explains what happened in this meeting and on this day. That meeting occurred just a few hours after Trudeau snubbed every other international diplomat, Prime Minister, Head of State, who was there for the Trans-Pacific Partnership at that meeting. Justin Trudeau flaked out on that meeting and was scheduled to meet with Malcolm Turnbull just a few hours after. You know how he started that meeting, according to Malcolm Turnbull? Well, he sat down and crossed his legs in the feminine fashion that Justin Trudeau is very well known for, and then asked the Prime Minister of Australia if he liked his socks. You can't make this stuff up here. Malcolm Turnbull wrote about this in his autobiography. Malcolm said in response, No, Justin, we're not here to talk about your socks. This, of course, is very embarrassing for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to have it shown to the world how much of an airhead he really is. We've seen photos of him showing off his socks to other world leaders, but we never really thought that it interrupted his meetings. We see his meetings from his lens, from the Parliamentary Press Gallery or from the PMO. They're both one and the same. We see them from a very filtered lens, his meetings across the world. And we're lucky when we're able to hear other accounts from either foreign media or from foreign leaders. You will remember very well during our federal election when we had to rely on time to tell us about Trudeau, Prime Minister Blackface. We had to rely on international media. Now we're relying on world leaders to let us know exactly how much of an airhead our Prime Minister is. This, of course, has really upset the Prime Minister's office in the bubble that surrounds Justin Trudeau and his Liberals. It's even brought the snake Gerald Butts back to the Ottawa bubble. You know him well. He fled to New York to work for the Eurasia Group, a weird consultancy firm that is swimming in sole-sourced government contracts. I wonder how that happened. Well, he might be upset on Twitter that Malcolm Turnbull broke solidarity with Justin Trudeau, but I have to thank Malcolm Turnbull for exposing Justin Trudeau for what he is. Now, while I might have known how much of an airhead Justin Trudeau already is, and many Canadians did, lots of folks don't really grasp how useless a lot of these international meetings are and how poorly Justin Trudeau really represents Canadians while he's on these international junkets, be it to India or to Europe. Justin Trudeau is always making a mockery of Canada. For Rebel News, I'm Keen Vaxty. Hey, thanks for checking out our coverage here on YouTube. If you like and subscribe to us, that's great, but it's not enough anymore. YouTube is redirecting traffic to mainstream media sites during the global pandemic. If you ring the bell at the bottom of this video, you'll be able to catch up with the other side of the story whenever it occurs.